As more migrants arrive in New York, we want to go beyond the headlines and highlight some of the personal stories of those who made the long and dangerous journey to the U.S. And tonight we introduce you to a woman who came here from Ecuador and is now trying to make a living selling churros in the subway. Fox Eyes' Christine Russo has her story. Selling churros and water bottles, Elvia Caisa says everything she does is for her two sons. I can make 100 or sometimes $120 a day. She came here from Ecuador three months ago, making the journey, like so many other recently arrived migrants, mostly on foot. Selling churros, she says, is her way of getting by in the city. But some days, she only makes enough to break even. The churros cost me about a dollar, and I charge two because of the sugar, which I add myself, so sometimes I don't bring home much money. On a hot Friday, she sells as much as she can before the daily afternoon police sweeps. I get here at 2, and then sometimes I stay past 11 until I finish selling everything. Other vendors coming by to give her the heads up that a few officers were on their way. The fines, I'm told, are $100, often more than many make in a day. This afternoon, we saw police confiscate one vendor's entire cart. <laughs> Times Square has often been a hub for unlicensed vendors. While it's a ubiquitous image of city life, it is still prohibited by the New York City Transit Rules of Conduct. Pero, dando gracias a Dios, me siento muy contenta para poder aquí trabajar y salir en adelante con mis hijos. But thanks to God, I feel really happy to be able to work and continue moving forward with my sons. More than 70,000 asylum seekers have arrived in New York City over the last year. Recently, Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul have requested the Biden administration help expedite the process for asylum seekers to get their legal working permits. In Times Square, Christine Russo, Fox 5 News.